Hi, once again, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Hey, listen, guys, a company called CoolPie has been kind enough to send me a dual bay docking station for NVMe's M.2s or SATA M.2 drives. Now, they want me to do a bit of a review of this product, which I'll gladly do, and this is what this video is about. But before we get into unboxing, let's just talk a little bit about what this docking station has to offer. This device would be well used for duplicating data from one M.2 to the other. Better yet, you can duplicate or clone this data without even hooking it up to a PC or any computer for that matter. Simply insert your source drive into the source slot of the device and insert your target drive into the target slot of the device and click one button and you're off. Now on the device itself, it actually has LEDs that shows you exactly where you are on the transfer of the data. These LEDs give you a percentage of how far along you are with the transfer. This supports up to a six terabytes. So that's pretty good. As long as you're going from an NVMe to an NVMe drive or a SATA to a SATA drive, you're in good shape. This device could also be plugged into any computer via USB-C, so you can view all of your data, all of your files, transfer them back and forth however way you wish. Now let's get into a bit of a quick unboxing here. First up, we have a USB-C to USB-C cable here to plug into your computers. Next, we have a USB 3.0 to USB Type-C, giving you another way to plug into a computer, and now your standard power adapter. Then the unit itself, quite a small compact little unit this is. Now this does support two Gen 2 M.2s and gives you 20 gigabits per second transfer speeds. Here you have your Type-C port. There's your power button there. That's the LED light there, that little small guy, and then that's where you plug your power into. Now stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll show you the results of a fully cloned operating system from one M.2 to the other. Now we're gonna put this guy to use. Let's get something cloned here. I've got a brand new build here. I've got a one terabyte NVMe M.2 in here. And it with it is a it's got Windows 11 operating on it perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and um, take this drive out and uh, pop it into the docking station. And we're going to clone this guy over to another drive and see, see how long it takes us. And uh, see if we can see our data on both drives. Okay, we'll go ahead and pop this guy out. Let's get him hooked into our docking station now. Okay, we're gonna put that drive into our source slot and I've got a two terabyte NVMe drive that we're gonna put into the target slot. So there's that one in, ready to go. And we'll go ahead and pop our two terabyte drive into the target slot, just like this. And now all we have to do is clone these guys. All right, we'll go ahead and plug it in. No PC required. We'll go ahead and hit that uh, power button right up here on the back. And we start getting the LED light there lighting up. And let's see if we can get some other lights. Yep, got the two drives light lit up on both sides. Looks like they're ready to go. Then the only thing left to do is to hit that uh, one clone button right there in the middle. And uh, we'll see if we can start getting this thing cloned. All right, just hit that button. See if we can get some things lighting up here. Hold it down for a few seconds. And yes, you can see the data being transferred with the flashing lights and the 25% LED is lit. So let's see if those progress as we go. By the way, I am timing this. So let's see how long it takes to clone over a one terabyte drive to a two terabyte drive. So since we're not using software, I would have thought that it's only gonna clone over the one terabyte 
and leave another whole terabyte unpartitioned on the two terabyte drive. That only makes sense, but this is just a test. All right, we'll speed this up. Now the 50% light is flashing. Let's see when we move up to the 75%. Okay, a little while longer. Now we're at 75%. Right. Get up to 100% and this guy will be done and I'll let you know exactly how much time the entire clone took. Okay, we're on our final stretch here of this clone. So once this is done, let's see what the, what the length of time it took to clone these. Okay, we're at 100%. All the light activity has stopped. We're just gonna power this guy off. Ooh, it's quite warm. These drives do get warm and this device does get warm. That's one thing to keep in mind. It does have vents on each side of this device so to help cool it and there's uh, some vents on the bottom also. We're just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna power this off and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hook this up to, uh, to my computer. And let's have a look if the data matches up. By the way, that clone took 13 minutes. So 13 minutes to clone over a one terabyte drive. Okay, we're just gonna plug our USB-C cable here right into the back of the docking station and we're gonna plug the other end into our computer and have a look. Okay, this is plugged into my laptop. As you see right now, we only have one drive. That's the C drive. And you can see in my disk management, the partitions on that C drive. And I'm about to fire up the disk station here with the two M.2s. And let's see if they populate. Ah, something's coming up here. Let's have a look now at our disk management and see what we can find. Okay. Our two drives are showing up, just as I suspected though, it only cloned over one terabyte. It cloned that one terabyte over and left the, the, uh, the other terabyte on that drive uh, unallocated. So that's because we weren't using software. But we need to check and see if the, all the data is there. We're gonna put this drive online and then the, the drive, the, Drive will show up, all the data is there. It mimics exactly what was on the original drive on the one terabyte. So there you go. So now for the big test, we're gonna go ahead and take the two terabyte M.2 that was our destination drive, target drive. And we're gonna put that into the computer that I just built that I pulled the one terabyte from and let's see if we can boot to Windows. In theory, we should if it's a complete sector by sector clone. Even though that one terabyte's missing or unallocated, it shouldn't matter, it still should boot. So let's find out. So now I have the two terabyte target drive in and let's see if this guy boots to Windows. Oh, we got a splash screen. Get ready, see what it does. Oh, recovery, your PC device needs to be repaired. Hmm, something didn't go right there. You know, Windows does use some hidden partitions and I know that the software versions of cloning software, they do what's called sector by sector cloning. Not so sure uh, what the deal with that is, but you know, it's still though, it's, this, is a, this is a good device to transfer data, large amounts of data. The cloning of an operating system uh, doesn't seem to work exactly like something like a Cronus or something would. Uh, I guess it's due to the fact that it doesn't do sector by sector. But I will say this docking station is convenient when you have two M.2s that you need to transfer data from one to the other. And in theory, if you want to transfer one M.2 that has Windows installed on it to a larger M.2 and you want it to work and boot, you can still use this docking station, have both drives plugged in, plug this into your computer and use a piece of software like a Cronus or something that can do sector by sector cloning. Uh, that still makes life very convenient to have a place to plug both M.2s in at the same time. 
Hey, and don't forget everyone, I have a link to this product down in the description below this video. Help support my channel. Thanks for coming along with me. Hope this helps somebody out in some kind of way. I am Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. See you soon.